All right, we lost our heavy very early on, but at the very least, we got all these guys leveled up. Now we just need to keep them alive for the rest of the campaign, and then we'll be really good, hopefully. Let's see, we got, yeah, we, this is the first time we got the mantid corpses. I probably should have used a stun baton, but I needed to be safe. And we lost this crash site. So how much... How much warden armor do we have at this point? So we have six equipped. We have another four. Can we get the dropship up? Uh, oh, actually, we have just enough for the dropship. So we're going to save up money. Another VIP extraction. Soviet Union is at 45%. I think we can take that. But I do need to start working on this Dragonfly dropship. Like, we absolutely need this. Otherwise, we're just going to continue losing. How long is it going to take? Okay, another four days. Okay, so get rid of you. Oh my god, everyone is fucking... Fucked. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys. Alright, we need some replacements, like, right away. Oh, you're actually good. You're... not so much. Accuracy... Accuracy is low, but strength is decent. But reflexes... are bad. I was thinking assault, but those reflexes... are just terrible. And you're weak. You have really low HP, but your stats, the rest of your stats are pretty good. Uh, of... I think that's it. Yeah, just go with you. Like, I'm kind of eyeing this, but really low HP. I don't like that. Everyone needs to recover. So wait like a couple of days. Okay, if you want to read this, go ahead and pause the video. So we can now build phantom interceptors, but those are expensive. We do have the money for it. I believe they lowered the cost yeah, to 800,000, but it is expensive in terms of alloys. Yeah, so I really don't want to be doing this. Like, if we can somehow do that mission... Actually, no, we, we're gonna have to skip it. So, Soviet Union is gonna go up to 61 panic. We're skipping that mission. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna decommission the Skyhawk. We're going to do the dragonfly. It's so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We don't have enough warden armor for everyone, do we? Millennium grenades, stun gun, advanced medkit. Uh, you know what? 
let's start at upgrading our grenades. I think that would be wise. So this does 50 damage, whereas our regular grenades does 35. So an extra 15 might make a difference. But we also need like additional air power. Uh yeah, just go with the uh, just go with this. Get get this over with. And I probably should upgrade the surgical center considering like the biggest problem we have is injuries and deaths. Air weapons. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna... We need to, like, win this air war. Wait, how much does the Skylance do in armor destruction? And then Elenium. Yeah, probably should go with Elenium. Oh, just two, and then... Another two Lenium missiles. Yeah, we can afford that. Wait a minute. Are you... You're not researching anything, damn it! I didn't even realize that. Like, it's, I can still hold off on laser weaponry. I think. But the funding... Uh, you want to upgrade our weapons. Terrorite. Well, it's a good thing that I got that dropship because that terrorite is going to hurt. And actually, we do need to win this terrorite because NA is at 73. Panic level is a... If we lose this, 25%. 25 panic. Like, that's going to go up to 98. Yeah, it's also a good thing we didn't take that uh, VIP extraction mission because we do need people that are good to go. Okay, you're going to be our sniper for this mission. And you uh, probably have to be a rifleman. Oh, we can't bring you. Unless... Oh, jeez, we don't have enough people. Like, we're gonna have to take someone who's injured. Yeah, we're gonna have to take you along as well. So... Our shield is done. Um, someone's going to need to carry a shield. On top of that, we don't have enough weapons because I kind of forgot to make more. Okay, you know what? You're up. You can be the meat shield. And you will be the sniper for this mission. Okay, you're gonna have to be a rifleman. Sucks, but... it's the way the cookie crumbles. Or something like that. In fact, we have a lot of riflemen, but not enough. Oh yeah, we need a heavy. Still need to replace our heavy. Someone who is strong enough to wield the MG. Someone like you.
Problem is, we don't have enough warden armor to go around. And our shield only has tactical armor. See, that's the problem. It's a problem with losing a whole bunch of armor, a whole bunch of soldiers. Is that everything is just so expensive now. So everyone has auto meds. Yep. You know, you can carry an extra magazine. You're probably gonna need it. Okay, heavy. Okay, let's equip you. We don't have any more accelerated weapons. So, you're just gonna have to go with. Oh, wait, we have the heavy launcher. Hmm. Put out some decent firepower, and your accuracy is. Let me see this. Your accuracy sucks. Okay, I'm not gonna risk it. Just go with rifleman, just a regular rifle. Okay, I'm giving you heavy armor. And maybe we should avoid a pistol just to get that weight down. Yeah, so you're just gonna carry around the MG with no sidearm to protect you. Now, I'm going to expect Reapers on this mission. And then a whole bunch of nades. Do we have a med kit? Okay, you have the med kit. So we need at least one med kit just to revive uh, people who are knocked unconscious. That's good. Two, three. We're going to bring a lot of utility with us. Oh, you need a mag. Yeah, I got rid of a mag for the previous mission. And same thing with you. You need an extra mag. I think we can load you up with an extra mag as well. Extra mag. Or... There we go. Get rid of the, the baton. And then we can load up on an extra mag and extra nades here. Like, we're gonna be throwing- everyone's pretty much gonna be throwing smoke. So, it's okay to add an extra nade. You know, what I would like to see is, like, a sum total of all the nades, like, somewhere down here, underneath the heavy armor. That way I don't have to, like, count them all. That would, like, make things a whole lot easier, even though it's still relatively straightforward, as it is. There we go. And then... Can't really carry anything, can you? Okay, we'll take that out. And then, pff, you need, like, smoke. Seriously. Okay. 
and you need a lot more stuff. Okay, this is the best it's going to get at this point. So we got our one med kit. Uh, you're going to throw your smoke, like, immediately. So the this is non-issue. Okay, this is as good as it's going to get. Let's also rearrange people in the dropship. Need our number one here. We need assault here and assault here. Four, five, six, seven. Twelve needs to be here for the sniper. Then the heavy needs to be pointed this way. And then the rest back here are riflemen. Yeah, that works. Okay. We need to respond in 23 hours. We can get there in 10 hours. Like, we need to go and hit that during the daytime. Yeah, we need to go, like, right now. Okay, so all of our weapons are equipped. All of our armor is equipped. Like, this is as good as it's gonna get. If we fail this mission, we pretty much lose North America. Now, the problem is, now that UFOs are appearing, we need to clear the skies. We also need to intercept this, like, immediately. Tail into overland. Alright, let's take this out. Wait, can the sc scout dodge torpedoes? I forget. Well, let's find out. Okay, if you're attacking the probe... Actually... Wait, the missile hit the scout! Oh my god, you were attacking the probe, not the scout. Why well, fuck that up? Alright, retreat this aircraft. But we managed to clear that. So we got a scout crash site. Yeah, we're gonna hit this during the daytime. Like, I was kind of worried that the UFOs were spawning, because... Keep in mind, if the dropship is out when the UFOs spawn, like, if fighters spawn, then they can actually intercept the dropship. And if it doesn't have an escort, then you just lose your dropship and the soldiers. At least that's how it was in Xenonauts 1. I don't think... I've heard anyone have that happen to them in Xenonauts 2, but then again, people are careful. Okay, let's get this done.
Oh, fuck. There's a Reaper there already. Well, at least this time, I know the Reaper is there. So... Yeah. And those of you who've seen my last playthrough during one of the terror missions, like, I made my first turn move, everyone moved, and then I spotted a Reaper, like, in close proximity here. So, that really pissed me off. But this time, we see the Reaper right there. And I also... Wait. Double check where everyone is. Okay, these guys are facing this way, so we're good. I can... Like, if I fire, like, it's gonna have to be outside of cover. So we're gonna have to make up for that with smokes. That's... Okay, that's clear. Now I do need to take out this Reaper. Sixty-four percent. You know what, fuck it. I am taking no chances. I'm wasting you. Fuck. I'll destroy the corpse. <laughs> I don't care. I am not taking chances with this. Okay, so I don't know where anything is. Let's just put down some smokes just so everyone can disembark. Oh, there's a mantis there. Can't really touch him, so just have to do this. Now, these things do block shots. So, we can hide behind them. And fortunately, we can also see uh, behind them as well. Uh, Alright. Um... Can I, like, throw a flashbang out here? Are you going to be affected by the flashbang? If I throw it close enough, then yeah, I can. Okay, there's a mantis over there. Alright, pop the smoke. Yeah, enjoy that smoke. Some nice thick smoke here. Okay, there's a Reaper there. I just need everyone to disembark safely, get the cover. So I'm gonna put you... Or that's still an unknown, so probably shouldn't get too close just yet. Let's have you hide behind here for now. Oh, you still need to complete your move. There we go. Then I'm going to have you hide behind her. And finally, 
put down some extra smoke over here. Like, yeah, it prevents me from targeting these guys down. But the whole point of this is that so I can disembark safely. Okay, so you're good. Are you crouching? Yeah, you are. You're crouching. You probably should crouch. Probably should get closer. Okay. All right. There's our first turn. I'm concerned about this area over here, but we do have some smoke there as well. This is the first turn. Let's see how this plays out. And if all goes well, then nobody gets hurt. And we'll be able to proceed from there. It's always this first turn that sets the pace of how this mission will go. And yeah, it allows the the smoke allows the reapers to get close without taking damage, but they should be far enough away that they can't do any damage. Oh, and I just realized they have stronger weapons now. So, got to watch out for that. Oh, you suppressed my shield guy. Or a girl. Or 56 damage. Oh, there's a mantis there. So we are going to have problems on the left side. But there's our first turn. 86. Probably should take out the 86. At 86%. Yeah, take him out. Well, at least he's suppressed, but still, like, I needed him dead. There we go. Wait, did you bleed? That was weird. Alright, so got thick smoke over here. We should be fine for a few turns. I'm gonna move the MG like over here for the next turn. Like, you'll stay there, you have smoke, so if we need to refresh smoke, you will pop it. I'm gonna need smoke over here, though. Or better yet. We'll pop the smoke over here. Just to get rid of that angle. And pop smoke over here. And this should... Like... Take out that angle of attack. Oh my god! 
Are you fucking kidding me? That is horrible. That is... Seriously? You fucking idiot. Ah, uh, I'm so salty. <laughs> I'm so fucking salty. Like, that was supposed to take away that angle of attack, but I think I'm gonna have to, like, fall back. Except I can't. Fuck, I have to devote, like, to move everyone over here. Well, at least he's over here, so... How thin is this smoke? Like, I'm gonna have to refresh this. I'm gonna have to do this now. Fuck. It changes everything. Can't believe this shit. Now we're going to have problems with this Reaper. Okay, I'm going to have to move you up then. Move you over here. I need this shotgunner. Oh my god. So... Like this smoke, this failed smoke changes everything. Like everyone's gonna be stunned. Uh, but not unconscious, but... Everyone will be take some stun damage. <gasps> okay, you might as well just crouch here. Yeah. That changes everything. If we die because of that, I'm going to be so pissed off. Like, we need to deal with this Reaper. Yeah. That was a good move to put that shotgunner there. Oh, don't shoot my people! Fuck. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna have to reorganize because we're gonna need to deal with Reapers on the right now. While also holding off the attacks from over here. Are you kidding me? You actually did that. No, don't flee, you bitch. Okay, so we got like three enemies over here and unfortunately I repositioned my MG. Okay, so we'll take this. Like, we don't have a shot. Like, if we can somehow suppress you and then fall back... So much the better. If I can, like... If this nade lands, then... That would be great, but... That requires the nade... Wait, weren't you the one that... Threw that botched nade? Or was it someone else? 
I don't even remember. But, man, that pissed me off. Okay, um... How are we going to do this? Like, I need to take care of that guy, too. Fuck. So, MG has to go after this guy. It's suppression. It's the best we can do. Wait, weren't you suppressed? Hmm. I'm forgetting things because I'm so pissed off. Okay, 86%. I do need to take this. Okay, that changes everything. Don't have to deal with the Mantid anymore. Still need to deal with that guy. It's 21%. 10% Oh, there's another Mantid there Who still has nades? You do Like, I'm just not taking any chances Just nade the fucker out of them Okay, um... I'm gonna smoke this area again. Just refresh that smoke. Because I want to take away that shot from this guy. While I maneuver everyone over here. So there's no mantids over here, no ranged shots. I think it's safe to put my shotgunner here. Crouch just in case. You need to fall back. Okay, um... Let's go back here. If this guy goes over here and attacks from this angle, well, there's still these smoke tiles, but he does have a shot over here against this guy, but we'll see. Um, you're gonna s continue staying in that smoke. You're gonna hold position. Okay. Alright, got one shot. How? Did you... Or did you already burn your shot? Well, fortunately, it only did 45 damage. Like... Soldier will survive. Are you fucking kidding me? You're in smoke, you asshole. Okay, we have mantids, like, pushing up here.
Okay, just shoot him up. Okay, it's berserk. Like, you'll... Ugh. Fucking hell. Okay, we need to pull our sniper back. At 9%, this is at 2%. Like... The AI really changed in Milestone 3, because now they're all charging me instead of staying in these buildings. Like in Milestone 2. It does make it more difficult, because now... I have an overwhelming force at more, my doorstep. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to take this shot. Suppressed you again. Did absolutely no damage again. 19% zero, 0 Okay, you're still good. In terms of stun damage. Like, I do need this guy to fall back, though. And we still have that issue with the Reapers. I feel like we need to use the charges, demo charges. I have one more nade. Can we even throw it that far? Now that's blocking. I do need to get rid of this cover. Oh, you're healing, so any damage I do is basically non existent. Well, I do need to pull back my sniper. You need to get your weapon back, you bitch. Oh my god, that was a waste of a turn. Now, reposition you here so that you can throw nades next turn. But this is just a huge problem that we're having here. Like, I have to deal with this mantis here as well, so... Having smoke... Or maybe if I can block this area with smoke... Then at the very least, these lanes will be open, and I know there's reapers over here. So, block off though that lane of fire. Then Reapers will come through here. I can't really engage anyone at this point. So I'm going to take a chance by putting a guy here. Unless I can like rotate. No, wait, wait, wait. I'll put you here. And then my guy will go this way. So you're covered from all the smoke here. And the mantids might take out... Could take out my guy here. If they go through here, they have still have plenty of TUs to shoot. So I don't know. I don't know what the hell is going on here. P 
Okay, you don't have any smokes anymore. Like, I need to, like, throw this somewhere. Okay, I'm throwing this blind. Hopefully, it'll hit the Reaper. Yes! Okay, so we're good there. And this is stressful. So I'm gonna fall back once again. Let's put the shield here. That way you're at least out of the smoke, not taking stun damage. We really have a lot of smoke here as it is. Let's pop another one. Refresh it. Take away that lane of fire. Make it thick over here. And then everyone else will have overwatch duty. Let's hope this works. Great, they're getting reinforcements. Oh, come on. Well, at least we killed you. There we go. But now we got another one here. Yes! Friendly fire. They're a friendly fire. Enemy friendly fire. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Okay. You're okay. But I think I need you to fall back just in case. I really don't want you taking damage. You got 14 HP. So we got three of them over here. One's behind the bus. It's the robotic unit. Okay, let's try this again. Yes, finally, we got our shots to connect. Ah. Now there's one over here. Now we need to deal with the two enemies here, so what I'm gonna do, let's just pop smoke. Just refresh this smoke. I'm also going to start moving the shotgunner up. And then I'm going to move you back. Just so you can heal. Because the Mantid will push. Like you have angles all around here. Okay, so I'm going to take away this angle once again. And then if the Mantid goes through here, we'll overwatch. Actually, can I... No, we can't do that. I probably should put you over here. That way you're up against this wall. And I need you to heal for like one turn. Is 
think we need to also push someone up here. You got one flashbang. But that's really it. And you know, I probably should transfer you over here. Okay, we'll move up our shotgunner just a little bit. Got plenty of smoke from this angle. So. Let's throw a nade. Throwing it blind. I don't know if I scored a hit. Enemy spotted. Oh, now you're outside the cover. I just realized. So let's take away this angle now. Oh, there's a Reaper here. <laughs> I did some damage to the robotic unit, I'm assuming. Hopefully I got the right tiles. Do you know, we can't really do anything until... We suppress this guy over here and start putting shots down range. Okay, let's do this. Okay, the Reaper is making his way over here. Oh, he crossed over. What? Oh. Oh, come on. What, you had an angle on that? You had an angle on him. Oh shit, that was a reaper. That was a zombie that turned into a reaper. So... Okay. Well, at the very least, you came over here. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. What the hell? Now you're exposed. Okay, we have a 16% on this Reaper. And, oh my god, you're suppressed? Seriously? Okay, shield is still at 104. Okay, we got a 99%. I'm taking this. Oh, it's just damage. 32. 74. 50. Yeah, take the 74. There we go. Okay, so we still have that robotic unit over here. Unfortunately, we need to take this angle because you're out of TUs. And then we're gonna hit the bus like afterwards. Like there's no way this guy is escaping. Okay, you got your HP back. So I'm going to put position you here, just so you have cover from the left side. Okay, you're going to move you back over here. So that mantid is going to start creeping on us.
Okay, we'll put you in cover over here. You need to reload. Like, the Reaper is start gonna start making his way over here. So, I probably should put you in cover this way. Yeah, there we go. You still need to be over here just to take on this guy. Okay. So we're going to have a Reaper attacking the right side. Now uh, here comes another Mantis. Oh, come on! Really? There we go. Yeah, that's what I was trying to avoid. But now this guy needs to fall back. Except he can't because he panicked. Alright, so we do have to pop smoke here to protect this guy. Okay, I do need to check this now. Like, I need to get some vision of that drone there. Please do not trigger Overwatch. Oh god. What? Okay, there he is. Okay, who has an aid? Well, let's... You know, let's just throw a nade here. Okay, that's dealt with. So we can start getting vision over here. In fact, there's the border. Okay, so that was good. But we still haven't reloaded. At the very least, we can start moving over here. I need a flashbang up here, so let's just move him up here. We did get the Reaper, so all that should be here is a Mantid. And then there was supposed to be, like, something around here as well. Okay, you're gonna have to stay here now. At least we know this is clear. Probably should get you into cover, shouldn't I? And then that's pretty much it. All right, and turn. Let's see what happens. Yes. Yes. Another Mantid. Nice. And you're bleeding. Nice. I like that. Okay, dude. 
24, 19, 0. Okay, we got a 32%. You take a shot. All right, let's reload. Twenty percent. Okay, we got a thirty percent here. Ineffective. There we go. Okay, everyone is good. And we burned a lot of grenades just in this one area, but look at that. Everyone's still alive. And because I want everyone to continue remaining alive, what I'm going to do, move you out of the way, and then we're going to end the turn. And we can start sweeping the map. Okay, so we need to get a couple riflemen going this way. There's one, and bring you. And then we can start pushing into this area with our shield. Okay, I also want to get some vision over here. <sighs> so we start pushing our forces up. Like, I want the shield to go first and reveal this area before I start getting more people in there. At the very least, we can start moving them in. Actually, you know what? Let's put our sniper over here. Same thing with our heavy. Alright. Let's end the turn. Everyone's in cover. So before I move the shotgunner up on the left side, I need my riflemen to get there as well. Okay, you're a little bit slow. Okay, let's get our shield in here. So next turn, we'll reveal this area, and then we'll start moving up. Alright, everyone's good. Okay, we can start pushing up. This room is safe. Just 
need to close the door. Oh, you know what? I, I want you to reload. You need to reload as well. In fact, I need to check everyone's guns. If anyone needs to reload, now's the time. Okay, we're all good. So, gonna get vision in that direction now. So, MG and Sniper will just stay here. We're, we're gonna push the rifles up. You can move up a little bit more. And you get in this room. Okay, close the door. This room is secure. Now we just need to clear the rest of this building. Uh, you're going to have to stay here because you don't have enough to use from that reload. Okay. Start transferring soldiers here. Of uh, You know what? I'm just going to open the door. And then not head back, apparently. Let's climb up here. Let's get out this building. Okay, so we're good. Right, let's open this. Okay, there is a reaper in the restaurant, but this area is good. A little concerned about the grocery store, but I think we are fine, it looks like. Just keep vision here. Move up the MG. We do need to get some extra vision in this direction. Then I can move you up just a little bit more. I'm gonna do this so I want you to close this door just for the time being is 
then we'll just have you stay there. Sniper is still overwatching this area. Next turn, I'm going to move him up here and our MG will overwatch. Okay, open this door. Oh, fuck. They're coming. So. Huh. How are we going to do this? I think we should fall back. But we don't need to put up smoke. We just need to fall back to a defensive position here. Let's get them out into the open. Leave the doors open. Yeah, we'll put you here. Then... Need you to fall back over here. Just run away. Okay, let's continue sweeping this side. Check here. Okay, this area is fine, it looks like. Alright, stack up. So that office is clear. I can move our MG up. Sniper can stay where he is. So this area is clear of units. Everyone's fallen back. Still worry about these two Reapers heading into this building. Yeah, there's one. So we need now we need to find the other Reaper. And I can already hear him. Somewhere in here. Alright, so let's move in. At this point, uh, you know what? Stay here is keep vision. Uh, what I need now is well, MG will keep vision over here. So if there is anything around the corner and like a Reaper goes in here. We'll be able to take it out. So you just have a regular ballistic rifle.
Okay, Reaper is still active. I'm gonna hit this wall. Start moving forward. Or better yet, let's close this door. I'm still waiting for this Reaper over here to do something. There he is. Alright, so now we can go back in. I only counted two Reapers there. We have the most TUs though, so let's use our sniper to scout the area real quick. And then let's start pushing forward a little bit. Probably should check this area first. Okay, that's clear. Let's move you up. So the grocery store is clear. Just move you up this way. So if there's something in this square, then at least everyone's in cover somewhat. Okay, let's hope there's no mantids here, but I doubt it. Yeah, we're good. So the shield can now push up. here. No, we're good. Okay, everyone back in the room. And then we'll go from there. Close this. Need to check this area a little bit. Okay, that is clear. So you can move up. Let's just go back here for a moment. We are playing this like super safe. Like I don't want to mess this up. So, the last place we're looking is just this parking lot and the restaurant.
Okay, let's see what's up here. Clear so far. That's clear. Alright, we can move you up. And you know what? I think we can just pull you back to these desks. Just so you can maintain vision of this area. And then we need to start transferring our shotgunners over to the restaurant here. But probably still have mantids there. Okay, we still can't see the border just yet. I don't want to get too close to the bus just yet. But I do want to see more of the inside of the restaurant before I commit to that. Okay. I think we can open this. I think we can commit our MG over here. Probably should get you to fall back a little bit just for now. And then our sniper. Like, I usually like putting the sniper up on this roof here, but you're all the way over here. You might have a better angle here anyway. You know what, let's try to get to the, the bus over here. Oh, we got a Reaper. Yeah, we're gonna need to take this guy out. Okay, 55. Alright, we got one. 52. Then our sniper, can we... You finish him off? Got 67%. Well, you finished off the garbage can. <laughs> That's not what I meant, though. At the very least, we got a clear line of fire here. Somewhat. And you missed. Okay, move up the MG. And I'm gonna start moving you up. Because I do need vision of this area. Okay, there's the border. This parking lot is clear. Start making our way to the bus now. Uh, 
Uh, probably should start backing off. Do it like this. I'm gonna put the shield over here. So he'll be the first, uh... He'll be the first to take a hit if the Reaper comes. Hopefully. Oh, he can reach. Could you, like, hit this guy? No? 92% go! There we go. Oh, we're done. Alright. Mission successful. No losses.